military plan that uh, has been developed by our Joint Chiefs and that uh, I believe is appropriate, is proportional, it is limited, it does not involve boots on the ground. This is not Iraq and this is not Afghanistan. This is a limited, proportional step that will send a clear message not only to the Assad regime, but also to uh, other countries that may be interested in testing some of these international norms, uh, that there are consequences. It gives us the ability to degrade Assad's capabilities when it comes to chemical weapons. Uh, it also uh, fits into a broader strategy that we have uh, to make sure that uh, we can bring about over time uh, the kind of strengthening of the opposition and the diplomatic and uh, economic and political pressure required so that uh, ultimately we have a transition uh, that can bring peace and stability not only to Syria but to the region. Uh, what we are envisioning is something limited. It is something proportional. It will degrade Assad's capabilities. At the same time, we have a broader strategy that will allow us to upgrade the capabilities of the opposition, allow Syria uh, ultimately to uh, free itself from uh, the kinds of terrible civil wars and death and activity that we've been seeing on the ground. We have set up a draft authorization. We're going to be asking for hearings and a prompt vote, and I'm uh, very appreciative that everybody here uh, has already begun to schedule hearings. We have high confidence that Syria used uh, in an indiscriminate fashion chemical weapons uh, that killed thousands of people, uh, including over 400 children. Uh, and in direct violation of the international norm uh, against using chemical weapons. Uh, that poses a serious national security threat to the United States and to the region. And uh, as a consequence, Assad and Syria needs to be held accountable. Uh, I've made a decision that America should take action. Uh, but I also believe that we will be much more effective, uh, we will be stronger if we take action together as one nation. And so this gives us an opportunity not only to present the evidence uh, to all of the leading members of Congress and the various foreign pol policy committees uh, as to why we have high confidence that chemical weapons were used and that Assad used them, uh, but it also gives us an opportunity to discuss why it's so important that he be held uh, to account.